Hmm. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Um. All right. So happy Cinco de Mayo, I guess. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I got tacos. <clears throat> Kanki's got shrimp tacos, and then I went more so the traditional Cinco de Mayo route. Macaroni salad. What the hell is that route? Hear me out. If you know, you know. Macaroni salad, pepperoni, American cheese, uh, pico de gallo. What else is in there? Uh, bacon and burritos. It's gonna be good. I like. I, there's no doubt in my mind that this is gonna be bad. And and well, no, this is not gonna be bad. Be bad, but you know what? It's not the traditional Cinco de Mayo route. Well, I like to piss people off. <laughs> oh shit, my drink. I, I have a shake tonight. Oh yes, I did. Is I it in, oh, in no, here? it's in our fridge. All right. So why but don't you I go did. into the details of what you did and then I'll go get my stuff. Okay, so I don't know what the hell this... That's my spoon for my meat. Mm -hmm. Moving that. So I made shrimp tacos with some avocado, with some lime and some salt. Hell yes. Cinco de Mayo approved. I did have a, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I did have a margarita earlier, so that counts for something. And I put some new nails on. Alrighty. Put some new nails on. Oh, sorry. Hello, Victor. Hey, if I missed you on YouTube, I apologize. I was going to get my greens. I actually have them tonight. <coughs> yeah, Hello, I actually Jamie. remember to do something. It looks amazing, Kagan. Thank you, Jimmy Curly. Thank you, girl. Hello, lucky you. I made the decision not to cut into the burritos for the video <coughs> to keep all the flavor inside. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. So I think these nails are super pretty. And I, I also dyed my hair tonight. Well, I knew you dyed your hair, and I also saw the nail box on the bed. And I'm like, huh, it must be Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and I also dyed my hair. Got rid of my grays. I know it probably doesn't look a whole lot different because it's not going to look a whole lot different. No, I said to Kaki, I'm like, well, I guess you're not going blonde for my birthday. She I goes, said, I'm not doing it with she, a box dye. She goes, I'm, she goes, that's what she said. She goes, I'm not doing the box. Like, you got money to go, you know, pay me to go to a salon. I said, I'm like, for my birthday, I do. He said at Hello, the end MB. of the month, and I was like, I'm not waiting till the end of the month to <laughs> get up, rid of my Stu? grays. <laughs> well, that's when we're going away for the night. Oh, hello, and MB I... Nofo. How you doing, girl? Long time no talk. Your hair looks nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're not in the camera all the way. Let me fix that. And I'm sure MB would have said something. Oh, that's opposite way. There we go. Baby. Anybody see the video of the macaroni salad, pepperoni burrito? What are you thinking? I, I'm looking at it being like a deli oh, burrito. Oh, hey Stu. How you doing? Uh, to go blonde is a salon thing for sure. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially with my hair because I have a lot of red undertones. So if I use a blonde box dye, my hair turns orange. Orange. I look like Carrot Top. And I don't want to be carrot top. Listen, I'm not waiting. I'm going into this because <clears throat> I have a very, very good feeling. Can you imagine Can if he stop burping bad? loudly on purpose? No, that's just what he does. That's his thing. He burps loudly on purpose. And I'm not mad at it. That's just what he does. That's his thing. Hello, Mary. How you doing? Going in with my Valentina. Well, I'm going to take one more bite. What's your verdict? Because I already know mine's going to be good. It's freaking shrimp tacos. The pico. They can't be bad. I think the pico might have been a mistake. Really? I think so. It's not bad. But it's not like a flavor where I'm like, ooh, baby, this is good. So let's see if chips work with it. Thank you, MB. Oh, yeah. 
chips definitely make it better. Yeah, I was supposed to grab napkins. I got them. Thank you. I just needed one. Here, yeah. just put this over here. Sorry. By the way, did I mention Kaki's a little drunky? It's okay. It's Cinco de Mayo. No problem with that. You didn't need to say that, but all right. I said I said it in the opening when we knew, me and you were talking. Sorry it's been so long. I hate it. It's been so long. I'm sorry. Work days. Sure. And so, listen, we get it. We get it. Yeah, MB, yeah. MB, no worries. No worries, girl. MB, we've been talking about... Because, you know what? We bring you up in conversation all mm -hmm. the time. Um, <clears throat> changing your hours at work suck. Kaki knows about it. My hours are the same. I'm just working later, but I know about it. We get it. Pull up from North Fort, Northwest Territories. Somebody said, give her a kiss. I know, I saw that. We'll be doing more than that after dinner. Yes, we do. You gotta clean up <laughs> and break down and get a little bit of a workout in first, but we don't, uh, we don't kiss on camera. We don't kiss on demand. We don't kiss because you ask oh, for it. Oh, man. Have you ever made a scotch egg? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Step into a Slim Jim. Eat me. I got two Slim Jims right <laughs> next to me. Oh, right next to Khaki. Alright. The Pico don't go. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It happens sometimes. Like um, I'll oh, get now the dogs attack. Molly, knock it off. What's up, Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Good morning from Portugal. Up at from 5 Portugal, up at listening to a silver chair for some reason. Silver chair. I don't know what that is, Carlos. But hello. He's listening to a silver to to silver chair. Uh, is that a band? Who looks delicious? Thank you very much. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to Happy you, Happy Cinco de Mayo, Becky. My tacos are delicious. Are they? Yes, they are. Can't My say tacos are always good. Cold or not, they are always good. Man, I can't say the same about my burritos. At least you know what, if you do watch us religiously, you could say that, you know what? He's honest about his food creations. If he makes something not so good, he says it. And he doesn't eat it. A band that was big about 25 years ago. Okay. Oh, man, enjoy the food. Love the videos. Thank you, Aku. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Your content is awesome. Two awesome people. Thank you very much. A lot of compliments tonight, guys. You're making me blush. Stop it. Jeez. <laughs> Man, if it was just tomato instead of pico. Sorry. What are you sorry for? Pico was for your dish, not mine. I know, but I wish I would have known just... that you wanted tomato because I would have left some separate. Once, so... Every time Kaki goes to the grocery store, she asks me, what do you need? I knew she was doing tacos. So I'm like, okay, she's going to get tomato. And she did get tomato, but she chopped it all up and made her homemade pico. Ah, Kaki, on YouTube, somebody named Catfish said you're both terrible people. Yeah, I know. I just read that. We're both terrible people. Well, Catfish. Horrible people. Catfish. Hello, your name says it all. Before Catfish. One, before one of my mods excuses you from our chat, 
Um, I want you to hear something personal. I, from I've me. been reading that for like the past couple of minutes. And I was just like, hmm. Oh, they said it more than once? Well, no, I was just looking at it. They said it and it just sat there and nobody did anything about it. Oh, well, I don't know who we have in here that's a mom. There's nobody in there that's a mom. What's up, Michelle? Just popped in for the first time to say hello, love you guys. And hubby does too. Jamie's a girl's name. Get up three oh my god. Seven, nine, nine, nine. Jamie's a girl's name. Do I have any mods in here on YouTube? Because we usually don't like the hate coming in on the YouTube side of things. Yeah, no, normally we never get hate on YouTube. It's always TikTok. Catfish is is probably some fat it's, dude with pimples that's eating It's Catafish115. Oh, I appreciate it. Who do I have on, who, who's mods on YouTube? Nobody. Yes, I just blocked him. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie Curley. Thank you, Jamie. We're terrible people, apparently. How is J Jamie doesn't have the tool. I don't know. She might have blocked him from her. From your it. end, yeah. You don't have a tool next to your name, so. I don't know how that happened. There's always people who are just terrible. Miserable, don't listen. Yeah, no, we usually don't, but it's... My name don't... is Jamie, too, LOL. <laughs> Hello, Purple J. Yeah, but we're talking about somebody on the... um. YouTube end of things right now. Oh man, Kagi, I love your Pico. I really do, but it's killing my burrito. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just saying. It's it's the, the macaroni salad and the and the combination. The, the flavors don't work together. It's not even the flavors. It's the textures. It's the hard, crunchy. Um, vegetables and fruit. The tomatoes were not hard. Jalapeno. There was a lot of jalapeno in there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cortland. Hello, Court. How you doing, my friend? Hello, well, I tried for you guys. It's okay, Jamie. They left. Oh, no. Jimmy Jim might be in here and he might have. Uh, uh, he might have used his executive decisions to like get rid of you know the person. He does that when he's not. In Either that, or they might have left on their own, seeing all of the hate that they were getting. So no, I don't think so. Uh, I would like to think that Jimmy Jim's like our Batman. Just because you don't see him doesn't mean he's not he's there not watching. There. I'm a firm believer of that. Hi, friends. Hello, Ariel. Hello, oh, Ariel. I'm doing well. Ready for another day off. There you go, Court. See, I was oh, no. off today. I'm working tomorrow. And then I'm off for like a couple of days. <sighs> I'm doing well. Ready for another day off. Carlos, so let's talk wrestling, Jamie. How cool is it to see Haku's kids on the big time involved in the Bloodline storyline? Well, I think Tamatanga is great. His big brother, on the other hand, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for where they're going with it. I really think it's it's cool. <laughs> oh, baby. What is your favorite restaurant to go to as a couple? Well, we never go to restaurants. <laughs> yeah, Taco Bell or McDonald's. I'm going to pick Taco Bell, and Jamie's going to pick McDonald's, so... I was literally just watching yesterday's live. That's awesome that you wrestled Trent and Joe Gacy. Yeah. Well, Joe Gacy, I got hurt in that match. That was my last match ever, Albert. And then Trent, I wrestled a bunch of times. Back in the day, he was Go called away, Plasma. Mm -hmm. Jimmy wrestled Plasma a lot. I probably wrestled Plasma and Tony Nice. More than, mm -hmm. more than anybody that I could think of. There he is, like the Undertaker, or if you'd like, like God. Jimmy Jam has risen. He called. Yes, I'm an humble God. I know you are, Jimmy Jam. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> yes, you are, my friend. Well, Jimmy Jam, I got. If you saw the video, you probably didn't, but. These burritos are no bueno, no good. I can't finish the second one for sure. 
I think the idea was good. I think the only thing is it should have been a traditional BLT style, not Pico. But for Cinco de Mayo, I, ha I had to go with something. Gacy, is he in the Wyatt Six? You're going to say you wrestled that guy for a small talk when he becomes a star? I wrestled lots of stars. I don't ever brag about that. I don't ever brag about that because that's almost like, um, you like know. Like grass match straws. Well, no, I, I wrestled less than, I've, I, listen, I wrestled you guys. Wrestled, I've you wrestled, wrestled I've, a lot of I've wrestled people. guys that I grew up watching, right? And I never brag about it. I only say something like, you know, who'd you wrestle that's been in the WWF? And I'll give the names. But I don't ever go like, oh my goodness, I wrestled him. Never, ever. You actually, if, if I'm... You, I hey, forgot Jimmy all, Jim. I forgot Jimmy all about wrestling Joe Gacy until you said it. Jimmy Jam, you need to go and take care of Catafish. He probably already did, Chico. No, he's already here. He's back again. Catafish, your mama. Jimmy Jam, take care of that. Please. And thank you. That's something to brag about. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I forgot I wrestled Jimmy Gacy. Just Thank you, Jimmy Jam. Thank you, bud. Mwah. Thank you. Mm. Oh, man, I'm not going to get my... <laughs> this is not going to be a... Uh... Shit. Uh, MB, Jimmy Jam's on, on YouTube. Jamie, who did you wrestle from the WWE? Lots of, lots of people. Quite a few. I was never in the WWE though, ever. Um, I'll tell you, when it comes to like the whole uh, Uncle Howdy thing, I hope they don't mess it up. I really hope it's a success. Like Matt would say. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy Jam. Appreciate it. Sometimes. Thank you, Sam. Some people just need to be taken care of. <laughs> Who's the largest human you ever wrestled in terms of size, not fame? Um. <laughs> to probably the guy that gave me a black eye for my 21st birthday. His name was Malta the Damager. <laughs> he was like my diesel to Shawn Michaels. He was yeah, huge. Yeah, he was a big guy. Clocked <laughs> me right in the damn face the day before my birthday. Yeah, he was a big dude. <laughs> He's a very nice guy. Just, man, a big, a, a big puppy didn't know the size of his paws, you know? Um, he didn't know how big he was. Yeah, b b b super nice though. Big shoes for Bo Dallas to fill. I don't think he's gonna fill them. Xene eighteen. You probably get asked this all the time, but what is the drink you make? Uh, it's homemade fruit punch. Mhm. Mm the tater tots will save the day. Yes, of course. And I got um, a secret sauce. Fans crap the code. Bo, Dallas, Nikki Cross, Casey Rowan, Alexa Bliss, Lunas. I hope it's worth the wait. Should be good. I'm sure it's going to be good. I'll Oops. tell you his most scariest competitor, Kagadu. Jamie doesn't stand a chance when the Spider Ninja. Gets going, she will drop kick him back into the black and white days of the 60s. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is that about you? Give Kaki a pillow to bite and see what she says. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be a whole lot of kicking. Tacos look fire. Thank you. My tacos are delicious. <laughs> Double mine. <laughs> My tacos are delicious. 
My tacos are yummy. If I can get them out of the shell. <laughs> Sometimes I can't with you. Done. No, you can't. <laughs> Hello, Toots. Jamie's is fire. I, I wish it, I wish I could say it was Jamie's fire. fire. Yeah, well. No, my tonight's meal not so great. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess your hair is coming up darker on YouTube. Albert has said, "Did you dye your hair blonde?" I, I did. Blonde. No, I dyed my hair like um, it was like a bronze. Yeah, Jimmy, I'm surprised Munchkin's not in here yet. Uh, Munchkin's got her own stuff going on. Yeah, right she got some shit going on. She's got her own stuff going on. If she's not here, she's not here. It's fine. No worries. Where's the Mar Mar Marichi? Mar Mar the mariachi music. Mariachi music, because it's like, um, you know, Taco Monday. Taco Sunday. Lucky's a yellow lab. He's an English lab, actually. Yeah, my friggin' tacos are good. And yeah. I'm making a mess. I really don't care. I'm finishing this one burrito, and I'm gonna call it quits. I have... It's not over here, but I have beef and avocado. A healthy part of the meal. A jello match? Uh, thank you for the gifts, Mountain. Thank yeah, you very thank much. You. I formally challenged Jamie to a jello match. <laughs> what is that? Were you wrestling jello? Oh. Is this competitive eating? No. Do we look like we're competitively eating? This is dinner. This is just dinner. Hi, my friends. There she is. Hello, Munchkin. Hello, Ramon. Jamie Curley, to answer your question, yes, I did. I did have a margarita earlier tonight with salt on the rim, but it was not in a margarita glass. It was in a martini glass. But it did happen. Bring on the jello, boy. No. <laughs> No. Man, talk about disappointed. You would love. You would love WWE 2K24. I'm trying to unlock The Fiend. Apparently. No. And WrestleMania Showcase. But that triple threat, Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte matchup. To pitch to pat, I don't know. <coughs> you know, Albert, when it comes to like the newer video games, that's like 15 years. The last new video game I played was... You, me, and 500 pounds of Jack <laughs> Strawberry I Jello. Oh, it's been <laughs> a long time. Hey, look, uh, Lisa Marie. Yeah. You heard pillow fights and Jello pudding? And you came in here with your Daisy Dukes and your tidy strap white tee. You're ready to ride them, cowgirl. I would assume he's talking to Munchkin. Thank you for the heart. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so too. <laughs> Thank you for the heart. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you. Techie fixed her tacos. There was nothing wrong with my tacos. Then they need to be fixed. They look good. Thank you. <coughs> Jackie, we had chicken tacos tonight. Never had them. They were pretty good. I love chicken tacos. I usually do chicken tacos, but tonight I just wanted shrimp tacos. I want shrimp tacos in a bad way. Glad you aren't eating dry pizza. It always looks horrible. He's never eaten dry pizza. 
You may think it looks dry, but his pizza is not dry. Love your tacos. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Peggy's the taco queen. I used to be the salad queen. Now I'm the taco queen. This is very good. Anybody wondering, what is? what did he just get rid of the burritos for? This is ground beef, cheddar cheese, uh, an avocado, some Taco Bell sauce. I, mean, I believe it was fire. And a little bit of sour cream, fat free. Uh, my milf, I loved. I'm sorry, my milf, how was your margarita? Thank you, Jamie. Oh, my margarita was good. I mean, it wasn't like a real margarita. Only because when I went to the liquor store, they didn't have like the margarita mix and everything else. So I bought like a buzz bowl. It's, it was called a buzz ball. It was like a margarita buzz ball. So I took that. I didn't have a margarita glass, so I rimmed. Um, what? I took. <laughs> I took a martini glass and I rimmed it with some lime, rubbed it in some um, coarse salt. <laughs> I don't know. That was all you. You know, put some cross salt, uh, a coarse salt on the rim, and then I poured the buzz bowl into the martini glass, and I had my little, I had my margarita. Yeah. It wasn't a real margarita, but got the job done. It looked like a margarita. Glass. It did look like a margarita. I took a picture of it, and I sent it to my best friend, and she was like, "Well, you got the job done, and it looks so pretty." And I was like, "Well, thank you. It does look pretty." I made a, a delicious looking. So you're going to wish. Did she leave Sesame's place yet? Oh, yeah. She's home already. Did she wind up leaving early or did mm -mm. she stay? She did, right? Mm -mm. They stayed. You know what's funny, Jamie Rollins? You've wrestled everyone Cornette hates. That's not true. <laughs> he always, out of... Um... And we forgot all about it. Yes, we did. Yes, no. we did, Jimmy Jam. We forgot all about that challenge. I don't think he's commented on Tony Nese because Tony Nese is a great worker. Same as Trent. Unfortunately, Trent was stuck in. And he always came out and said, like, besides Pockets and, you know, uh, Chucky e. T, um, Trent was the best one. So who else has I uh, have I wrestled that he don't like? Ring, ring me a bell. Trent is very good. As is Tony Nice. I never well, My milk, if you want to see a picture, I will send you a picture of my margarita. <laughs> my margarita in a um, martini glass. Hello, brown eyes. How you doing? Uh, oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm full. This is actually very good. I think I should do less av avocado next time, though. But I'm full. That hit the spot. Yeah, I think I'm full, too. Is Jim Cornette badly misunderstood, or do people hate him for speaking his mind? I think people hate him for talking the truth. I just think he's annoying. And not, well, there you go. <laughs> I just think he's annoying. I just don't like him in general. Don't know, like, anything about wrestling. I will just tell you right now, I just think he's annoying. <laughs> I was, I did not grow up a Jim Cornette fan. I did not start liking, and I did not know how important he was to wrestling until I started to listen to his podcast. And the reason I started to listen to his podcast was because Bruce Pritchard and Conrad Thompson had a ha, has a podcast, and one of their episodes was titled Jim Cornette. So I'm like, okay, I know who he is. I watched him when I was little. 
Oh, well, hello, uh, Megan. How you doing? Let's hear the stories about him. And from the stories alone, I'm like, holy shit. And part of the, during the story, they said that he's got a podcast. So I'm like, okay, let's give his podcast a try. And the first 15, 20 minutes, I did not like it. But then I little by little got very into it. And after that first episode, I was sold. And then the more I listened, the more I realized that before he was ever managing Yokozuna, he was like a big fucking deal. And now it seems like he's everywhere. He knows everybody. There's a story about somebody. Um, so I like him a lot. But I hated him as a kid. Same thing as Jeff Jarrett. I was not a Jeff Jarrett fan growing up. I hated him too. But I love Jeff Jarrett now too. Hello, Megan. We speak the truth, he's biased, but his ADHD, which he admits that he has, causes him to be very unfiltered, or he hangs his hat on the excuse to escape accountability. I love Jim Cornette. And I don't agree with everything he says. Probably about 88%. Like, he's got a thing against Kenny Omega. I like Kenny Omega. Um, I think he's coming around to him, too. But, um, I don't necessarily agree with everything he says, but 90, like 85, 90% of the, of the stuff he says I agree. And it's usually something I say before I even hear his podcast. I just don't like him in general. I, I think he's annoying. I know you do. Hey, uh, oh, thank fucking God, because you know what? I'm putting it in my earbuds, and you can watch the, the freaking GPS if you, that's what you want to listen to. <laughs> hey, kids, let's go to California. That's fine. Earbuds go in. Baby, I hope you can figure out the, <laughs> the GPS. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not listening to that motherfucker. <laughs> talking about when he says something politically incorrect. I don't... I'm just talking in general. No, 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 Jimmy Jam. Um... No, he is very into the politics and stuff. I am not. So, th all that stuff kind of goes in one ear out the other. I don't listen to him when it comes to the podcast. I'm talking about wrestling, not politics. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the wrestling aspect. Because... Yeah, Kaki just don't like the man's voice. No. I don't. <laughs> oh, man. A court, if you drove... If you drove all day, you probably could listen to it better. Jamie, my mouth. I know we've talked about BBC a few times. Look at the video I sent you guys on IG. I saw it and thought of you. What? <laughs> what? What have we talked about BBCs, Munchkin? Did you talk to Munchkin no. about BBCs? That's what... News to me. I'm actually surprised you said something like that. Look at the video I sent you guys on IG. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to IG right now. Going to IG right now. I haven't been on IG all day. Oh, I, I never go on IG, but... <laughs> We've talked about cock. <laughs> I don't ever remember talking about BBC. We talked about... Who said we talked Portland. about cock? <laughs> Bringing Catalone. We can celebrate our 40th as well. <laughs> Yeah, we talked about. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <the coughs> oh. <laughs> I'm because she just came out of surgery. I can't click on the freaking sound. I don't know why. Oh, she can't talk right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, there was this video going around TikTok about cock. Cock, like you know, cock, like cock things with. And it's like if they were talking about black cock and cock. white cock. Whoa, 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 cock what? <laughs> cock, not cock. <laughs> cock. What is cock? Like cock, like what you use to like seal like shit and like in cracks in the house and stuff. You use cock. Okay. But the way this woman was saying it was a cock. Oh. But the way she said it, it was hilarious. We've talked about cock. Okay. I don't, I don't, why? This doesn't ring a bell to me. <laughs> Carla says, I saw the video. 
news to me. I mean, I just saw it now, but I couldn't no, hear it. No, 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 no. That's not the video. That's not the video. I'll show you afterwards the video that, that Court sent me, which I saw way before Court sent it to me because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that is a perfect nightcap to end our, <laughs> our uh, Sunday night discussion, talking about BBC and, and, and Cork. Uh, we will... You gotta See hear her on that video. Tomorrow. She's, you know, I know my mouth. I've seen that video many times. <laughs> you gotta have a dirty mind. Oh, mine's dirty. You gotta have a dirty Of course. You cannot live life without a dirty mind. My mind lives in the gutter. It's in the gutter 24-7. <laughs> I'm often told I'm the reason that we have HR videos at work. Because <laughs> my mind's always in the gutter. What are you doing at work? I'm just saying. I'm just. I just go to like the place that you're not supposed to go to. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Have a good night.